Hey guys, welcome back to ADSR FM8 Tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to do a remake of the pluck sound from Stadium X and Taylor Rennie's Howl at the Moon. Uh, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel already, get yourself subscribed, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. And also going to post a link up on the screen right now where you can go and download the preset from the fmhtutorials.com website that we're going to remake in this tutorial. Just in case your remake the sound doesn't sound quite how you expect it to sound or how it sounds in the tutorial, you can go ahead and download that patch directly from the website. So let's start off with remaking this sound. Uh, I've got quite a bit of processing on this channel as well, so I'm going to turn that off for now and create a new sound in FM8. I'm going to start off by getting the operators together for this pluck sound and I'm going to use all six operators for this sound. So turn all six operators on, uh, and I'm going to and I'm going to root them all through the filter. So start off with operator F, root that into the filter at full volume, and then root the filter to the output around 62. Uh, operator F, we're going to have a sawtooth wave, and take the ratio down to 0.5. But I'm going to detune some of these operators so. I actually go 0.4970. Uh, operator E next. Route that to the filter at full volume. And again, it's going to be a sawtooth wave and detuned a little bit in the other direction. So 0 0.5056. Okay, operator D next. Route that to the output at 100. Going to be sawtooth again and 0.4992 on the ratio. So slightly detune these sawtooth waves. And operator C next, route that to the output. And this is going to be a sawtooth again. I'm going to take this down by two octaves, so 0.25. And I'm going to key sync that for a nice consistent tone. And operator B. Root this to the output slightly less, around say 67. I'm going to have kissing this one and keep it as a sine wave, but take it to 0.125 on the ratio, so down three octaves. So quite low. And finally, operator A, I'm going to take the ratio to 0.75. Kit and have it as a sawtooth waveform. Key synced again. Level about 40. I'm going to root operator A into operator B as well, about 31. Now let's move to the master section and let's transpose the whole sound up by two octaves and give the sound six voices and detune some of these voices. So put the detune to about 54 and let's pan them out. Nice and wide, it's about 89 on the pan. And, and let's add a bit of analog as well. Let's put the analog to about 27. It's just gonna warm it up and uh, just add a little bit of kind of warmth to the sound a bit more. Let's move to the envelope section now. Uh, I'm gonna use two different envelopes. So operator F, E, D and C, I'm gonna link all of these envelopes uh, and just have a standard kind of ADSR really. Drag the release out a little bit and pull down the sustain and just kind of drag it out a bit. So. And then operator B and A, I'm going to link these two together and make them a bit more plucky. So take the sustain right down on these. So getting something a little bit closer to the pluck sound that we're after. Let's move to the filter now. And in this filter section, what I'm going to do is take the cut off, not all the way down, down to around 10. And the resonance of both filter 1 and filter 2 can stay at 0. And the spread of filter 2 can be pushed up to 100. And now let's push the envelope amount up to about 65, 64. And let's set this envelope in here. And again, we want something quite plucky, so I'm going to take the sustain right off.
tighten up a little bit here as well. And then back the attack off ever so slightly. And then I'm also quite important this, this velocity here. I'm gonna push this up to 100, so. And if you look at the MIDI riff that we have playing here, open this up. Those high notes, I've got high velocity value on those. You see the red notes here. And having a high velocity value on those notes and then activating the filter to be velocity sensitive means that the filter opens slightly on those notes that have the high velocity. So those sustained notes, the filter opens a little bit and it just adds quite a nice sort of vibe and sound and flow really. So that's the sound pretty much set up. Let's discuss some of the processing that I've applied. So a channel EQ, just boosting a kind of some low mids and some high, kind of highs, high mids. Also we've got Fab Filter Saturn, providing some distortion from round about kind of 200 hertz and upwards, so not distorting the low end of the sound. driving it a little bit. Uh, we've got this Valhalla Vintage Verb. It's a really nice kind of uh, effecty sort of reverb. And finally, an isotope imager where all I've done is use band one and band two and just brought them down. So up to kind of 800, 800 hertz is completely mono now in the signal. It's just raining in that stereo field because it was a little bit all over the place. So, so now just the high frequency of the sound is now got the width to it. So let's give it another spin. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch. Make sure you also get yourself over to our website, fmatutorials.com. Tons more tutorials on there for Native Instruments FMA. And also remember at the start of the video, we posted a link to the preset. You can download that preset directly from the FMA Tutorials website. Just in case you've remade it in this tutorial and it's not sounding the same as it is the way I've got it in here, you can just download that preset, load it up in FMA. And yeah, thanks for watching. All right, cheers, bye.